New at 11, an $8 million investment. FC Cincinnati is buying a plot of land from the city. This is one of many moves made in the offseason before the team's first major league soccer match. Nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us live right now with the brand new developments tonight. Jake? Yeah, Craig, you know, I want to give you a visual representation of kind of where we are right now. Here you're able to see this fence with the FC Cincinnati logo. This is the old Stargle Stadium here, and this is where the FC Cincinnati uh, Stadium will be built, of course, just across the way here. That's the new plot of land the organization bought from the city. Now, Jeff Birding tells me getting to this point of buying the land so late, what well, came as a surprise, but he is glad that it's being taken care of right now. They broke ground and started the process all without a missing puzzle piece they thought they had. We believed we had this all worked out previously uh, with city council and uh, the city of Cincinnati. Uh, we were uh, surprised to learn it wasn't worked out, but we've developed a terrific deal that's a win-win for everyone involved. Uh, FC Cincinnati wants to make the community better. The deal reached totals $8 million. It includes capital improvement and a community development fund. The land currently used for Cincinnati police parking. Police will move their cars into the WCET parking garage across the street. FC Cincinnati is going to pay the city of Cincinnati market rate for each of those spaces. Part of Wednesday's council meeting focusing on closing Central Parkway on game days. That's another slap to these residents who are going to have major uh, obstructions from getting from work to home and around. Council member Chris Seelbach says West End residents are getting a raw deal. Birding disagrees. We've met with the West End Community Council numerous times. This has been a part of the conversation. We've had no pushback and wish we cared more about the people who are going to be giantly affected. Birding says it's best to leave public safety to the experts. When the Cincinnati Police Department, the Fire Department, Traffic and Engineering all say that we have to close Central Parkway to ensure public safety, I don't think we should politicize that. Now, a committee will be looking into whether or not Central Parkway will remain open on game days. As for that land deal, a final vote is going to be taken this upcoming Wednesday, or it should be at least. We'll be, keep, uh, be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in the West End, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.